A quick unpolished video here, but I replaced the vinyl window on my Ranger soft door after breaking it. Here's the broken window. I broke it in the winter time when it was cold. I rolled it down and it snapped pretty easily. So first I went through and uh, cut one of the stitches and went around and pulled stitches out one by one on the old window. The zipper wraps around three sides of the window, the two sides on the top. And uh, I just went through and uh, cut one, and then I have like a little stitch remover tool from a sewing kit that you just go through and pull them all. Seems like it took, feels like forever, but it really only took about 15 minutes. I purchased some vinyl on eBay, actually. This is 30 mil vinyl, the same size that came on the window itself. Feels pretty similar. $30 delivered from eBay. It was 54 inches by one yard. So $30 fix. Use the old window as a stencil once I got it out. Um, I had to cut it off at the bottom, or that was my solution anyways. Um, you know, the three sides have a zipper, and you can remove the zipper on one side if the stitches are done, but then I just decided to cut it off at the bottom because I wasn't certain what to do. And um, so here's what it looks like with the, the window removed and the one side of the zipper and um, the vinyl removed. And so I used the vinyl as a stencil on the new vinyl that I had purchased. Um, $30 vinyl is a lot cheaper than $500 for a new door. I don't even know if you can buy an individual door. I couldn't find them around me. So um, pretty simple. I, I use scissors. Um, you know, I watched some, some videos online but and they recommended not using scissors but scissors work just fine use the old window as a stencil added an inch and a half to the bottom so I made the new window taller than the old one thinking well it'll overlap some and I'll glue it or stitch it on or something right here either on the inside or outside makes more sense to do it on the outside there's an inch and a half so you have some overlap then I figured out the way this needed to go on to make sure I sewed it on the right way, not upside down or backwards. Here's my sewing machine. This was my first sewing project. I'm not a sewer. It is a pretty hefty sewing machine, though. Um, so, yeah, just stitched um, the fabric onto the vinyl the way it was before. And then here's kind of work in progress. My, you know, as I was working along and stitching, I probably paused a couple times, so you know, two or three runs, and I was able to go all the way around the, the window here. Here's the final product with the new vinyl. I have tons of extra, by the way. I could probably do four windows with this yard. Um, so it's not perfect. It's my first uh, sewing project, but, you know, it's sewed on. It seems fine. The biggest pain was uh, getting the zipper started again because I had to undo the zippers to... Um, you know, to get the window out and getting that zipper started on both sides was very challenging. Probably 25 minutes of challenging and frustrating. Now I just have to do the bottom. I don't have a great solution for you guys yet. I'm probably going to glue it on the outside and then put some black um, vinyl or um, black canvas over it and stitch it. But, um, I don't know. I might just glue it on the outside. It looks a lot better. I don't have a broken window with tape on it now. I can actually roll it down without feeling like I'm breaking it more. Worked out pretty good. So hopefully this gives you guys some ideas if you're looking to fix your window. And good luck.